I hope that this is working. Let's have a look and see if it is. I'll just go onto my page. Let me know if you're here. Just see if we're live. Oh, looks like we're live. Beautiful. Can you let me know if you're here, please, guys? Hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm actually testing out a new... Um, oh, I can see comments over here. How divine. That's awesome. It's working, says Sharon. Yay, yay, yay. That's amazing. Oh, hello, everyone. How are you? Patricia's here. Tanya's here. We're getting people on. Tina, have you missed me? I've missed you all so, so much. So much. Let me just put this here. That might help me to be able to see you. And Deb's here. Rachel and Sally are here. Thank you. G'day, Mark. Lovely to be back. And oh, this is working, isn't it? Fabulous. Is it clear? Because it doesn't look that clear on, on, um, on this end. And that's why I didn't use this PC last time I had a go. But never mind. Um, thanks for the rainbow, Mark. That's lovely. Pauline's here. Uh, lots of beautiful people are coming back to see me. How amazing is that? It doesn't look that clear. I don't know why this... Um, what Facebook's done is um, not clear, is beyond me. Never mind, what can we do? We just have to soldier on with cold draw. It's perfect, Joran. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Hello, Trudy. How are you? Lovely to have you all on. Rachel, yes, you're here. That's fabulous. It's so good to be here. Oh, my God, did you wonder where I was? Who wondered where I was? I haven't been on live since... Hi, Jenny probably March 2020 mother of pearl we didn't see that coming did we never mind we just have to put one foot in in front of the other and keep going hi Amanda um oh you knew Trudy well welcome welcome to my first life for 2021 because I've been missing in action I've been missing <laughs> because of 2020 holy Mary mother of God uh what a year it was and I, I feel I, I should just come on and, and let you know what happened. Because all of a sudden I'm here, like I, for years I've been here. Hi Trudy from Sunbury, Victoria, how lovely. And Jill and Maria are here too. I feel I, I, I need to tell you a little bit of a story so that you knew, know what happened. Because I didn't share much about what happened last year. I did, however, keep all of you, my fans, in uh, Hi Mel and Millie in my prayers for what turned out to be an extremely uh, difficult year for everyone so um everything was going well, actually in australia we started with a, a, a whammy in uh, december the year before and january with terrible terrible bushfires hi brenda and trudy which didn't affect m my family or myself, but it did affect my business because we were in a tourist park that was uh, heavily reliant on tourist trade. So that's how we started uh, 2020. And then, of course, COVID hit in um, March. So um, left us very up in the air for March, April and uh, May so um, trade plummeted um, where we were of course um, as people weren't going out and so forth my eldest son's contract with his company was up and he lost his job my youngest son um, was cut back to two days a week or three days a week I can't remember now it all seems a blur and they were living in separate apartments in Melbourne so what we quickly did was move both the boys in together right at the start of COVID, which turned out to be a very uh, good move. Uh, and they uh, rode it out together in Melbourne, um, which was very, very hard for us because we couldn't see them. And um, But we knew they were together and that calmed me down a bit. Then we were faced with um, the business and, and what we were going to do there. We um, My lease for my um, actual business, my beautiful healing centre, was up in May. So we had promises of um, assistance with uh, the rent and all this sort of stuff, which I won't go in, which then turned. So I had to, in the end, sleep on it. And I'm so glad for my Money Attraction program 
of working with the angels, which I've worked with a lot of you guys in that program through my closed group, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women. Um, and there was, uh, yeah, there was guys in that as well, um, but started off through the group. Uh, so I really honed in on the things that the angels taught us in that class to get through and really followed my guidance um, very, very promptly. So we slept on it one night and then we had a big decision to make what we were going to do with the AOK -OK Healing Centre. And we decided that we were going to end the lease and pack it up. So single, well, my husband and I, with no other help at all, we were faced with this uh, situation where we had to pack up this massive healing centre, big shop, a salt room and everything in it with no help. And um, it was very um, confronting times for me. The first time I went out there after I had made the decision that we were going to end the lease and pack up and really not know what we were going to do, I went out there and the angel said to me, don't cry, do not cry. You just have to do this one step at a time. I had eight weeks to pack it up with my husband. My husband, of course, was working. He was the only one who kept his job in COVID and he's a gardener at a retirement village so he kept working and when he wasn't working he was helping me and the angel said don't cry don't cry don't cry and just work from um i can't remember the times i worked like six hours a day and i and they said start somewhere and you will finish and it took us all of the eight weeks to i had to stock take the whole shop which is a huge shop if you've ever been there and on my own, normally it takes three of us to do. So I stock taked it and I packed it up. And then we moved. I've, I've done an interstate move before. So I knew what it was like to have a storage facility. And it's not fun because you can't find anything. And I knew I had to continue to work my website and my closed group to make sales to bring in some income. So we set up all the shelving in our house. So our house become like invaded by all my stock, our stock. And we got a storage facility and we used our garage and my mum's garage. And we moved everything in here. And we didn't know whether we would survive. We didn't know whether the business would survive, whether we'd be able to keep going or not. I knew I had too much stock to close down. I didn't have time to have a... You know, end of lease sale there was no time for that so in the back of my mind the angels were saying you're not meant to close so I held on to that I handed the keys in this day when I um, finished up and I put a note on the door and said you know selling um, online on the phone doing deliveries um, call me if you require something and we got home hey Kelly and Melanie lovely to have you here and within 20 minutes, I went back out to that car park and made my first sale um, after I closed. So I just knew that the angels wanted us to open again. Thank you so much, Melanie. So that was a very, very big gig um, for those few months. And so I didn't spend COVID high tenure doing nothing or fiddling my, you know, thumbs trying to work out what I was going to do to entertain myself. I actually, it was physically physically draining um, as in manual lifting and packing everything up and trying to sort things and putting them where we could find them and so forth hi Kathy hi Susan so we ended up we got everything into the house we got the storage shed organized all that sort of stuff and then I started to do a little bit online hi Elizabeth welcome back and I just thought okay now I'm going to sit quietly I'm going to have a little break like everyone else is in COVID and take a breath and unfortunately I had the two boys settled together even though one didn't have work and one had very little um I thought I'm going to have a break well have a break don't be careful what you ask for my darling mum went out to pick two camellias she fell over and she broke her neck I kid you not honest to God 2020 was the year that kept giving oh my lord so she ended up in um, the Austin which is the big um, spinal um, hospital in Melbourne we went down there it was like a science fiction movie we couldn't get nearer um, I don't know why we bothered no one told us don't go down you're not going to get nearer 
So we turned around and came home again and uh, we couldn't call her. So we totally had empathy for those who had people in aged care facilities and they couldn't talk to them. The nurses were so busy they couldn't answer the phone. She couldn't reach her mobile phone. So we, it was just the most distressing time. Anyway, um, long story short was her ward ended up getting cleaned out because they wanted it for COVID patients. So she got turfed into a old building that was an old day procedure procedure unit for goodness sakes and eventually of course they didn't want them down there like if they thought they could come back to their home country hometown they they pretty much got people out because even though she was had a, a nasty nasty injury um she wasn't paralyzed thank goodness but she did have a nasty um broken neck so she was lucky she didn't actually just die because it's like a fracture where like a car accident fracture so anyway the dear lady we brought her back to shepparton which is my home town and at this stage covid was was worsening by the day and we because she was 80 80 oh she was 80 at that stage we thought it was in her best interest that we get her out of hospital and given that i've got a nursing background and two of my sisters have nursing backgrounds we decided to take her home to her home own home so then we kicked into nurse mode so covid even though um it shifted me hugely it shifted my business hugely um it allowed me the time to care for my mother which is such an honor and i always say if you can care for your parents when they're elderly because we lost our father when they were when he was only 51 <clears throat> and we cared for him too lost him to a brain tumor so we cared for mum in her home um, for a few months and uh, we got her very quickly back to health and she made a recovery uh, she still has a lot of nerve pain in her arms and shoulders but um, we quickly got her back and independent we um, you know encouraged independence and she's made a recovery in three months that normally takes 12 at the age of now 81 she's back driving um she's back on her own um cooking and she does we have got a little cleaner in for her now um which she's never ever had any help but um so she's accepted that little bit of help and uh, she's doing really really well um she's not quite you know she's a little bit nervous and um but we she has got driving again and and she's doing um, wonderfully well and I didn't make any of that public because, you know, I'm not into the, I'm not into making, having people feel sorry for me. Everybody was going through something. Everybody. Honest to God, if you, if you were unscathed, you were lucky last year. People lost loved ones from COVID. Um, you know, they lost their businesses. They lost, their, they lost, people have lost everything. And it was a year where you clung really, really closely to, to your, um, to your faith and to your angels and trust me i haven't been here i only i knew i only had so much energy and we had some pretty big things going on i didn't know whether i was going to get my business back again i didn't know what i was going to do i just trusted my angels and pretty much just followed the guidance bit by bit so um once we got mum sort of um on the track of moving forward and and looking like you know we, we weren't going to lose her she was going to come good and and she's an independent and fiercely determined woman um she's given me good genes so um you know that was wonderful then i thought okay now what what's next where do we go from here <clears throat> and i started to look for somewhere for the business i knew what the money attraction programs taught me and taught you anyone who's done it it is amazing i'll do it again this year because we're gonna need it because there's a lot of countries still in trouble and we we're gonna have the COVID up and down issues as well was that um you have to be business-like so um i tried to take the emotions out of the business that's why i didn't want to be talking about what was going on because it was going to make me sad and i didn't want to feel like that i wanted to be focused and i wanted to be able to listen to my angels and listen to what they wanted to tell me as to what to do so i started to look for another premises and i knew because we were going into a recession we didn't know how long COVID was going to last that i had to look for lower outgoings of a shop so less costs was what i had to look for and i have actually been keeping my options open i've been looking thank you mel um at other 
places that maybe I could move to, even though I told them in January that I was going to sign a five-year lease. But I couldn't find anything, nothing, absolutely nothing. And I had been told that I would move and I really didn't want to because I thought it's going to be too hard. Well, oh my Lord, would have been hard enough with help. We did it without help. So it was even harder than I thought. And we, I came across this um, shop in Shepparton um, in High Street. A lot of you may have visited us now, which is fabulous. And uh, I walked in there and I'm very creative, as you know, and I could see it had good bones. <laughs> I could see it was filthy. Hello, Robin. And I could see it needed a lot of money spent on it. And I could see that there was a hell of a lot more work to be done. But I usually can pick something that's good and it had a good feel the, the only thing it had going for it was the position the decrease in overheads and it had a beautiful feel it felt like my niece who came with me the first day when I went to look at it said it feels like Nana hugs you when you walk in here I thought beautiful that's what we want hey Judy so I couldn't work out how I hadn't seen this building but it turns out that the man who owned the building, the lady who had been it had been empty for two years, the lady who'd been in it before had been in it for 12. But the man who, who was the landlord used to manage it himself, but unfortunately he uh, developed dementia and he was placed into an aged care facility 12 months before. His brother took on financial power of attorney uh, to manage the property, but when COVID hit, he said, oh, I can't cope with this. I, I can't get anyone into it. I don't know what's going on. He gave it to a real estate agent. So effectively, can you see what happened? The angels hid that building for two years until I was ready to take it. Because it wasn't until then that I saw it advertised on a real estate agent's uh, website. I went to sign, second wave hit, so I backed out again. <laughs> that I can't pay rent. I'd paid rent for a few months with next to no income and it wasn't fun. It was very, very stressful. So I backed out and then I waited until the second wave settled in Melbourne and then I went ahead and I signed the lease on the 1st of October. So since then, so at that point, mum had just made um, enough recovery to be independent on her own and then I went into renovating with my husband the new building we think it's about it's the land titles a hundred years old we're looking to get the date of the building it was born uh, it was born so we think it's in its 90s could be over 100 i think it's 90s probably i've got a feeling it's 95 years old this building it just keeps coming to me so the last few months we still haven't finished we have been in full-on renovation mode we have gutted this place, um, painted it all, new carpets. We've done up the old count that was there because unfortunately I had to leave mine back at the centre. And um, we have just been working like no tomorrow. So for me, the year has been physically, physically taxing. And then unfortunately, um, at the end of October, I injured my back really severely and ended up in an ambulance and in hospital with two prolapse discs. So um, I've had to, uh, I took a week off in bed because I couldn't move. Bert looked after me, God bless him. And I've made a recovery and I'm being very, very careful. And uh, so we still haven't finished the renos, but by next Monday, the last bit of lino will go down. Our salt room is now operational. And we're just starting to feel like life is turning again for us my eldest son has got a new job thank you very much he doesn't like it but it's still a job which uh you know as a lot of you will know are hen's teeth at the moment so you have to be very focused to tune into your angels to manifest a job and my other son has returned to full time however he has lost two teams he managed the whole lot went and he's the only one survived so um, let's, that's what's happened. That's why I haven't been here. Um, but I have been here in spirit. I look forward to connecting with you more. I am going to change the way I do things. One of my, uh, my sister, Sharon, has actually left to get another job because, you know, with the, with the staff and so forth, you know, I managed to get one onto JobKeeper. I couldn't get the other one on, but eventually I did. So 
it's just been really really taxing times but i thank them for their patience and their trust in me for um for pushing through and um, getting them back and mel is now um, looking to be full-time and sharon's got another job but still um, has a vested interest in my bookkeeping for the business and the business will ch has changed i'm going to focus more on new age things would you believe which i didn't want to do out there because it wasn't the place for it um and the salt room's going again and i will be offering readings again i'm just about we've got my reading room finished but i'm at the point where i've got a list a mile long for readings so i just have to ask you to to be patient with me because i'm only getting my energy back after my injury and um i've i'm it's been a physically emotionally taxing year for me thank you so much sally yes um, we're getting back to normal but i when i won't read until i feel my energy is high enough to read if that makes sense apart from doing um you know um what i'm going to do today which will be a yearly reading yes the angels did look after us mel and we really really trusted them and god big time big time this year and i know a lot of your countries are still in terrible situation with the covid and um you know I, I just don't want you to feel like i deserted you i just really don't want you to feel like i deserted you um i only had so much energy to give and um the business my boys my husband and my staff and my mum uh were my full-on priorities last year um I'm really grateful to my closed group um, for supporting me when I did online auctions and um, through last year because that kept some income coming in, which was um, just vital for our survival. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to talk about the blessings of 2020 now that I've told you what happened um, because all wasn't bad. Um, I had good people around me and that's what happens when you can be confronted with chaos. It's so important to have good people around me. I had a good accountant. I had a good financial advisor. Um, I had a great bookkeeper, my sister who had a vest, has a vested interest in my in my business and we accessed grants and um, the job keeper and so forth. So we're very grateful to the Australian government for supporting small business. Um, I was fortunate that I actually paid GST and I had staff. Those who had small businesses that didn't, didn't get JobKeeper, which was really, really distressing for a lot of sole traders in Australia. Um, so the blessings of 2020, one blessing that I will have be revealing this year was in January 2020 last year, I had a very, very strong, 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 um, download that I had I had been working on my third oracle over the years and it's a very long story which I won't share now and we'll share on another live um, but I was pushed in January to write it so I actually took three weeks off haha <laughs> three weeks off from working in the center to write the new oracle and it was so so strong and when you get those so so strong downloads you must act on them because if i hadn't have written it then look what the rest of the year bought i would never have got it done and i might never have had the energy to get it written so it is actually um that has been one thing i have focused on um in my downtime um, from the AOK Healing Centre that is now called the AOK Specialty Gifts and Salt Room. So everything's be, been rebranded. Same logo, but rebranded. Um, so I've focused, that's been something that's kept me going, is focusing on that. And I didn't want to go into print because I was so, so nervous about finances and uh the business so i held off held off held off but then in december i got a really big push you need to print it. you need to go to print you need to go to print it needs to be bought out because people are going to need this oracle in 2021 so it is in uh, print mode as we speak it should be available i think it leaves overseas in march sometime so it should be here in april um, may at the latest so it's an absolutely stunning work and i'm so grateful that that will be one of my shining lights of 2020 of course my mum's recovery is uh, pretty much a miracle 
so that is amazing my eldest son managed to get another job in very difficult times so thank you god i hope it's only a contract so whether not sure what will happen there but um that's okay um and my elder son a uh, younger son managed to keep his job when two teams just were see you later nothing was certain so having um i read something about someone wrote something about being unsinkable and i think being unsinkable if you've got things set up right that you can become unsinkable is that's what 2020 taught us it taught us the value of family um not being able to see your family not being able to talk to your mother in hospital um not being able to see my sons oh my god that just tore at my heartstrings and um it just makes you really really reassess everything so now that we're in shepparton in this lovely shop that's nearly finished that feels like nana hugs you it's smaller not that much smaller but it is smaller and um we've shuffled things around and we couldn't fit everything in but you know we sold things that we couldn't fit in you know to people who would you know could value with them and um yeah so it felt it's taught me that I have to rebalance my life. I have to um, have more time off because out there we were seven days a week. It was too big a deal. And um, so now we're closed Sundays and Mondays. Um, I'm closed public holidays. So it's just made me really totally reassess what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and the value of your health and you is really your wealth. The other, what other beautiful things we've had? My nephew had a beautiful baby boy in 2020, um, who had three major heart defects, and he had surgery in the middle of COVID. No one could go down and see him. Oh my goodness, we could just write a book. But he was strong. His name means strength, and um, he has done amazingly well. And he's such a blessing of ours for 2020. And he's just beautiful. And he really hasn't missed a beat since um his major surgery and he's done very well and first time parents it's been such a big deal for him i had a niece that had a wedding cancel i had uh, three aunties die my mum could only um go on her own to her sister's funeral none of us could go and support her that was before she broke her neck oh my goodness gracious me i could write a goddamn book on it and i'm sure you can write your own book on what um COVID did for you so the bl another blessing my husband kept his job thank you angels when everyone else didn't um another of the, the the new shop is such a blessing and people are just loving it so much it's just just beautiful and we love it um and another blessing is my youngest son who is a traveler he's the he's um traveled the world and you know he lived in england for two years um has an amazing um job he he um, was very locked in. I mean, a traveller gets locked in, very locked in. What does he do? He went online. I can't believe this boy went online. He went online and he met a, the most amazing, beautiful girl who's American. And he brought her home for Christmas. Well, what a delight. Oh, my goodness gracious me. How excited was I? And she's just beautiful. Um, I was thinking something else. Um, blessings for 2020. So, so many things were hard, but so many things were, were blessings, you know. And we've always got to look for the rainbows um, when things are in chaos. Um, oh, that's right. He um, was cut into half of his work. And I knew he had a list of things that he wants to do. He's a little bit like his mother. And um, he really wanted to do his master's. And he said to me, look, mum, I think, um, you know, I've got all this downtime. We can't go anywhere. And Melbourne was very severely locked down. I mean, the rest of Australia didn't go through what we did in Victoria. Um, and so he started his master's. And not only did he start his master's, he did five subjects of his master's in COVID lockdown. Hats off. Hats off to you. So that was an amazing thing that, that he did. <clears throat> so changing things up so there you go that's where i've been i am feeling much better i'm feeling much stronger um i thank you all if you came out to the center and i was stressed i'm sorry <laughs> you know nobody i don't share what's going on in my world my personal life but i did want to share it here today um because i've been missing for nearly 12 months and you were saying where is she and what's she doing and is she coming back but I am coming back. I might come back in a different way. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll get the weekly readings done. I'm not sure about that. I may pop in from time to time. 
I am going to set up a subscribers group. Um, haven't I started it and then I, of course, <clears throat> things got too much, so I haven't finished it off. And I see I have got a subscriber. Oh, Lord, my back is running low. Hold on, people. Um, we don't want to go lose this computer because that will be really bad. Hold on. So I do have a subscriber in there, so I will apologise to you, whoever you are. God bless you. Um, I will be um, setting that up um, properly. Um, I think that should get my battery going. Oh, okay. um, so that <clears throat> what I plan to do there is I'll actually, it's like a paid subscription and you can send stars and all that sort of thing. You might have seen some people doing it, which I don't know how to do yet, so don't worry about it. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually go into that paid subscribers group and I will be doing like one card readings. Okay, so that will be, it's like a better energy exchange than me coming on doing readings for people and then, you know, I don't even know who they are. They don't come onto my website. They don't join my group. And, you know, it's a lot of energy and time that I'm spending um, and not getting anything back, if that makes sense. Because at the end of the day, spiritual businesses have to be businesslike. Um, we need to love what we do, which I do love what I do, as you know. But um, I think that's a fabulous thing for me to set up when I have a minute. Um, and if you're interested in that, you can join and become a subscriber. I think so a few dollars a month or something comes out of your PayPal. I think that's how it works. So uh, look, I'll look at that. So that's something that I'm looking at. And the new Oracle, of course, is going to be amazing. So there you go. So um, let me know how you've gone um, in 2020 in the um, in the comments, please. I'd love to know. Hello, Kelly, Teresa, Maisie. Hello, Maisie um, and Belinda. Lovely to have you here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading for each month of the year for 2021. So... Um, working with the angels the angel scopes are out for 2021 these are fabulous resource um, if you use the coupon code star 50 um, that will take 50 percent off on my website i'll put a link underneath the live when i'm finished um, the, if you go onto my website michellenewton.com you'll be able to see them there easily so we're going to draw two cards we're going to use the angel feather oracle if you're not familiar with it 44 colored feathers teal is the color for 2021 that's why i used it in the thank you darling belinda in the um in the angel scopes and the archangel michael oracle and i will soon have the third oracle which will mean i have a trilogy how excitement beautiful so we're going to do a card i'm just going to shuffle the cards here guys let me know how you're going give me some hearts please um if you're still here that would be lovely love to see you've got some top fans pauline's a top fan She's here. Thank you, Pauline, for being here and coming back. So that's fabulous. So we're just, there we go. The cards have clumped. That's the Angel Feather Oracle, Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle. We'll get that going for you. Hello, Heather. How are you? And Deb and Marie or Mari. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for the hearts. Keep sending them. I love hearts and um, love being here back with you. So, so amazing. Um, I didn't have this really planned for today, but yeah, I just follow my God and said, angels said, Australia Day, happy Australia Day, everybody. Um, today's the day. <clears throat> do it before January is over, the angels said. So let's do two cards for each month. So January, here we go. Invite a miracle, the burgundy angel feather. Beautiful, beautiful card. Hi, Kendall and Debbie. Um, this is a beautiful card. It's a great time to start your manifesting putting your wishes out there, doing your angel altar work. The angels uh, love receiving invitations to be a part of your life. Ask and you shall receive. Beautiful, beautiful card. Let's see what Michael has to say for January. Expect something wonderful. How fabulous. Archangel Michael asks that each new day be started by setting the intent of expecting something wonderful and exciting. And as my story that I just shared with you, very personal, which I don't normally get, um, <clears throat> It shows you that even in chaos, you if you look for the blessings, you can still manifest. I still manifested a new shop, okay? And if I had have cried, I probably would have flooded out Kyella. And, when, and maybe it would have been a good release. I did cry in 2020, and I'll tell you about that at the end. I'll tell you about it now. You can, get, you can go along for so long, and then you have to let the tears out, okay? I'll tell you what made me cry because I had to be so focused not to because I had to be focused and I had to be determined and I had to be resilient, okay? Um, the thing that made me cry was in, oh, when I hurt my back, I did cry. Oh, mother of pearl, it was 
horrendous. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Um, what made me cry was that a beautiful company that I've sold angel figurines, you'll see a little figurine, that figurine in the back. Let me move this way. That beautiful figurine down there, and there's another one over here. It's called Angel Star. That company actually didn't survive COVID in America, and it's gone under, and I cried. Tip me over the edge. My beautiful figurines have sold for years. That was it. I was gone. Cried a river. That was that was in November. Oh my god. Oh, what next? Anyhow, that's the story. So that what made me cry. So um, manifest. You can still manifest in chaos. Tears are God's way of showing you how much you love. You loved exactly. But the angels did say to me when I started to pack that center up, don't cry. So that was just guidance that I got. I'm not saying for people not to cry because normally I cry. But they just said at that time I couldn't. I had to be strong. Um, and I really highly recommend that you choose a word for the year. Um, and um, yeah, a power word I call it. And I talk about that in the group. So I have chosen a new power word and it's a very interesting power word. Um, I'll share it with you. My power word's nothing fancy. My power word for 2021 is easy. How good's that? So January we've done. Time to manifest. Get your angel altars going. You know, clear out things you don't need. Go through your phone book. Get rid of contacts you have nothing to do with. Um, go through. I thought I've cleared out my filing cabinet. You know, God knows I've cleared out everything with the with the shop move. Um, sell stuff you don't need. Clear it on marketplace. Just clear that energy and bring in that energy so that you can bring in new beautiful things. Hey, Julian. Hey, Fran. February 2021. There's an opportunity coming for you. The burnt orange angel feather. An open door. The angels ask for you to be very observant as there is to be, you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. That could be that, you know, you might be allowed to go outside if you're still locked down too as well. Um, crystals are going to be very important for you for this opportunity, okay? Archangel Michael says crystal healing instill peace. Archangel Michael is leading you to a healing crystal which will decrease your stress levels and instill feelings of peace. So in when I was actually um, in my home, not going anywhere, that type of thing, um, using my crystals I had people ringing me about crystals and they said things like hello Michelle my name is such and such my name's Mary someone told me I'm so stressed someone told me I need rose quartz I don't even know what it is what is it I said it's a pink stone that could give me whatever you got <laughs> that's what people were doing and people are really getting heavily involved in crystals this year you watch crystal healing is going to become huge this year and working with crystal is going to be very very big this year and it will start next month in february um now we've got march 2021 ah travel interesting chartreuse angel feather which is not going to be much travel in the world but doesn't mean we're not going to well hopefully we'll be going to be traveling but it could be just traveling to work or going outside in your garden and walking around. We know what it's like to be locked down now. Any form of travel is great. The angels are here to advise you that safe travel is coming up for you. It may be associated with work or a well-earned holiday. And then it's an unexpected blessing coming to you through travel. Um, gift from heaven, says Michael. This is great news. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key gives you an unexpected blessing from heaven. Now, this could be online. Is what I'm getting as well. Like my son got his. God, what an absolute doll. We love her. She's adorable, beautiful girl um, from America. She's in Australia working. So um, this could be online. This could be, uh, you've got an opportunity here in February and then. Make sense? So that's March. April. The coral angel feather. Show a friend you care. Again, we've got another orange card. The angels understand the importance of friendship and ask that you make an effort today to remind a friend how loved they are. So important in COVID um, to be reminding, uh, to be calling people, to be talking to people. What we did with our, my little niece and nephew in Melbourne, who we have, oh my God, without my little Holly, my little Holly Dolly, oh, couldn't see my boys, I couldn't see my little Holly, she's my little niece. I was sending them little parcels and letters. 
so this is Shell Friend You Care and this is Clarity and Insight another purple card which is the bonus cards in the Michael deck beautiful this is for April April yes Clarity and Insight Epiphany Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key this sacred key brings in a moment of complete clarity leading to an epiphany so you're going to have an epiphany about a friend okay you might work out a problem for a friend <clears throat> for God's sake share it so this is great news all right very very good news so we've had two purple cards in Ma March and April <clears throat> now we're going to May oh bless special blessing rainbow angel feather love it give me some hearts please when you love these cards with immense excitement the angels announced that you were to receive a special blessing angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing god don't you love that then michael says oh walk away no longer fun archangel michael asks that you to detach from the drama associated with a particular situation it's time to walk withdraw and walk away now this is what happened to me with the shop out at um where i was in may so a special blessing came to me when i walked away and it is in the bible now i can't think um which one of the prophets that said this don't stay where you where you're not wanted and sometimes i felt like that out there um some and don't say anything you just go so i had my time was done i served my contract something happened i slept on it i made my decision so i walked away it brought me a blessing this is the same month same energy as i had last may mother of pearl june 2021 a new lifestyle i hope it's exactly what happened to me last year lifestyle uh, or residence what does michael say boundaries lying in the sand okay Archangel Michael hands you his sword. It's time to set an energetic boundary by symbolically drawing a line in the stand. So you could move. You could change jobs. You could change businesses. You could change houses in um, June after what May brings in. No longer fun. So that's it. I've had enough of this job. I'm going. I'm going to find something else. Even in chaos, it can happen. You can do it. Um, July, break the silence. The communication card. The angels would like to assist you with sensitive communication that's required at this moment in time. Archangel Michael says, passion, follow your heart. Your heart won't lead you astray. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. The sacred key allows you to follow your divine life purpose. Now, what last year, the chaos year has done will get you to do things differently, get you to reassess your business, get you to reassess the job get you to reassess your living quarters, get you to reassess your friend that never contacted you and you think, well, that was awful. You know, that type of thing. You know, you were locked inside with your husband. You said, oh, God, either went well or might not have gone well. Who knows? Um, everybody's different. It could have, you know, look what it did to us. It brought us together. And we had each other's back. And it actually brought us together, which was wonderful. Not that we weren't together, but it brought us stronger together. That's what this can do. Okay, can bring you stronger. It's passion. It's fabulous. Connect with the moon. Goddess energy. Goddess is around. Silver angel feather. The angel advise you to sit out and walk in the moonlight. The moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way. See, there's movement here somewhere. Car protection is a journey. You're going on a journey car protection safe journey archangel michael and his band of angels stand in protection over your car or loved one's car this could be your business is going to do more online this year look at business look what happened to businesses last year everyone had to be you didn't know you didn't know anything about the internet you did by the end of last year goodness gracious me everybody had, what's happening with my top let me see i can never know which way to, to work it because it's back to front so yes yeah, so it could be more movement online september Treat yourself, salmon, angel, feather. Self. Forgiveness. So maybe you need to forgive yourself for something. Here in September, to err is human, to forgive is divine. And this is a self card, so it's on you. You need to let something go. They just said here that you're going to move on. It's a goddessy energy. It's on you. You need to let something go in September. 
The Archangel Michael understands your past and present emotional pain. Past and past does nothing for the future. You've got to be very focused on the here and now. Forgiving yourself and others will bring you freedom and serenity. I feel like a weight's lifted off my, my, my shoulders, actually. Then in October, we've got love. So the love's in the air. If you want love, October's the month for it. The Romance Angels are here to inform you that there's an interesting development about to take place in your love life in October. Oh, and it's serendipitous. Oh, God, this is soulmate sort of stuff. Serendipity. We've got some great cards here for 2021, guys. We need to really hold on. So serendipity, the right place at the right time. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key places you exactly where you're meant to be to receive an extraordinary gift, and it's love. Love is on in October. Yay, for all those looking for love. I know it's not next month, but you know what? Where's January gone? November, choose to feel good. Make sure your energy is high enough in November. You'll be getting tired by the end of the year. The It said there, that card said to treat yourself um, back there in, um, when was that? August or yeah, no, September. Um, choose to feel good. The, again, we've got letting go of old emotions. The angels ask you to let go of old emotions. When these are released, joy will warm your heart. Michael says, oh my God, we've got another purple card. This is an amazing reading. for Missing piece of your puzzle. So when you let all the garbage go, it brings in information you require. It brings in a soulmate. Forgive yourself for whatever it is you think you've done or what you haven't done. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key activates the windows of the soul effectively heightening your spiritual vision to reveal a vital piece of missing information love it december ho ho time difficulties resolved things are going to start to turn by december next year. long you know totally pip and goodbye difficulties resolved things start to turn the end of the year the angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end michael says stop procrastinating no more excuses so you might feel a bit tired you might want to keep pushing forward in december but michael says get moving keep going archangel michael respectfully states no more excuses it's time to be productive so it's going to be a busy month december if you've got a business you've got good maybe things are getting back to normal people are getting out again people shopping again people are doing things again tourism picks up again you know covid starting to dwindle in a lot of countries that it's still rampant difficulties result so this is very good but it's an action card so that's fantastic so there you go any um questions about the yearly reading guys hello bev and hi sue um yes this it's a lovely reading for 2021 i'm loving it myself Thank you, angels. Um, so there you go. If you haven't joined my closed group, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women, ladies, please feel free to join me there. I can pop a link below the live stream when I finish. Um, stay tuned for the release of the new Oracle. I'll have information going out about that. The angel scopes are available. As I said, use the coupon code STAR50 to get 50% off. Um, that's my blessing for you. Uh, so thank you for being here. I do. Uh, I will have a little look when I get time at um, introducing the subscribers group. Um, whoever's already subscribed, thank you. If not, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. But that's what you like. You know what I'm like. I take a while to get organised and, and learn things. Um, sometimes this, you know, IT stuff. Well, wasn't I lucky that I had everything in place? People didn't have online websites and didn't have groups and all that sort of thing. So I often wondered why I spent all these years with my online world. And um, 2020 told me, well, there you go. That's why. And one thing, another thing it did um, teach me was that, you know, once I don't have a physical um, business, I can still do this until I'm 88, 90, if I wanted to, connecting with you um, and so forth. So, which is a really, really beautiful thing. So, lots of love to you. Keep strong. Keep your angels close to you. Um, we're, we're available at um, 151 High Street, Shepparton. Uh, yes, Helen, I'll just go back when I finish and listen to the story. I tell you why I haven't been here. Um, our phone number is 0358 215 We look forward to assisting you, helping you with your crystals. My crystal range has already, Tumblestone range has already doubled. 
um, I'm looking to do some more things on my website which I will share later when we get the energy um, and the salt room is available really good for you know maintaining your immune system so um, yes yeah, so there you go so thank you it's lovely to be back um, I did do this on my PC because they changed everything. Anyway, last year was about change. And when I went to do it last year, I thought, oh, this is just too hard. And I thought, no, today I've got to, I've got to push through and see if I can work this. So obviously people saying it's working. I don't know what the quality's, what the quality's like. But anywho, we've done it. We've done a 2021 reading. I'm back and I look for, we've got a market going on in my closed group on Thursday night. Fantastic. We had lots of fun with that in COVID and we packed up beautiful parcels and we put extra little things in because we love you and sent them off all over the world interstate and so forth so if you'd love to join us for that closed group market it's in my closed group not here on this page you just need to answer the three questions to get into the group I'll put the link in below um, when I finish and we'd love to see you Thursday night at quarter to seven um, Melbourne Victorian time for our first 2020 which will have a lot of um, really unusual crystals, which I've never stocked before, and lots of beautiful Christmas things at up to 50% off, which are, I love Christmas, as you know. So there you go. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for being here. Um, um, it's really good to be back. And just be patient with me as I get my energy um, back and we get things sorted and we let go of things that we, we think aren't going to service any longer and we bring whatever new things in that we will trial and see whether they service. And uh, I think that's, you know, being flexible and having the freedom to do that is really, really beautiful. So take care and lovely to be back. Bye-bye.